Hi friends, this is the last read aloud for the novel Ungifted. I'm going to start on page 242 at the bottom. By this point, Katie, Donovan's sister, has had her baby as well as the dog has had her puppies and they have all gone to good homes. Um, Donovan is back at his original middle school, Hardcastle Middle School, and so is Noah. Noah was accused of helping Donovan cheat on that academy test, but it actually wasn't Donovan. We learn in Abigail's chapter, Unburdened, that it was Abigail who helped cheat, but Noah took the credit so that he could go to a regular school. So I'm going to start at the bottom of page 242. Noah fit in better than I expected at Hardcastle Middle School. Some of that might have been because I recruited the Daniels and the three of us formed a bodyguard unit to keep him from being wedgie to death. Who knows what would have happened without us? We liked him and Sanderson was convinced he was a master of Dorkido, a secret martial art practiced only by geniuses. But Noah was the biggest weeb who'd ever walked the face of the earth. And while he insisted he could be wrong again at any moment, it hadn't happened so far. By special request from Oz, both Noah and I traveled by minibus to the academy three times a week for ro robotics. The plan was approved by Dr. Schultz himself who was in a good mood because the insurance company had finally paid up and the gym was being repaired. What was left of Atlas had joined his celestial sphere in the administration building's sub-basement. I had hoped I would hadn't have to polish that piece too. I still had five and a half hours of community service to go. Dr. Schultz had put boxes in all the schools solic soliciting suggestions for a new statue. I filled out a card for a Titanic memorial. A quiet nod to my ancestor and fellow survivor, James. That is a test question. Who was James Donovan? So I'm going to read it again and then continue on. I filled out a card for a Titanic memorial, a quiet nod to my ancestor and fellow survivor, James. Noah didn't mind spending a little time back at the academy because I was going too, and I loved the change of scenery and the chance to hang out and ply my joystick in the lab. I never confronted Abigail about how she had cheated for me on the retest, she definitely still hated me, but I had a sense that my reading on her personal garage meter had gone down a little bit. Maybe she was more comfortable now that all the cards were on the table. She was still smart and I was officially ungifted, except for robotics part-time. We were working on heavy metal, our robot for next year's competition. We'd be in the high school division then and hopefully no one would remember whose entry had busted up the middle school meat. Tin Man's Rampage would live forever in infamy, but maybe the team behind him would fade into the background. Soon the riot would belong to Tin Man alone, and all that remained would be the question, what made the robot go so berserk like that? Hey, I had that answer. It was the same wild impulse that could make a guy whack a statue in the behind, setting off a chain of events that reshaped the world, or at least my little corner of it. It was the part of me that Ancestry.com couldn't explain. I was working to control it, but sooner or later it would show up again and get me into twice as much trouble. You don't have to be gifted to know that. The end.